is a called the Gentleman's Magazine. It be, this is the uh, 1813 edition, July 1813. I found this at one of those like libraries where you you, know, you, you take a, a book, and you leave a book. I found I found this. This is from July 1813. Now, just a, I'm going to put a link to the Wikipedia article about this in the description. If you're really interested, you can go there. You know, they can explain it a lot better than I can. So, you know, I I had never heard of this before, but this was like I said in mixed in with the books. I, I was going to leave it there because I figured, you know, I didn't know what, it looked like, you know, just trash or something. I don't know. So, but so, you know, I don't know, like, you, so you might be asking, well, is this valuable? I don't know. I went on eBay and you can, well, you can buy these for like maybe $35, maybe not this particular edition. So they're not that valuable, I mean, but. This has been kicking around since 1813. You know, that's that's some that's that has been kicking around since 1813. Now, just according to Wikipedia, the Gentleman's Magazine began publication in 1731 and stopped publication in 1922. So it had a really long run. Uh, like, you know, like the, the Wikipedia articles talks about how they used, started using the word magazine and a few other things. Uh, like, you know, like, they have obituaries in here. They have things about the weather. Not, they don't predict the weather. They talk about what it was was like, they, what the weather in the past was like. They don't do much. I don't think they do any weather predicting in their magazine. Uh, what was I going to say? I'm just, you know, just, this magazine's been kicking around since 1813. I wonder, you know, who's owned it, what, what the, now here's something. Look, see how this page, it's still, you know, sometimes when you print, well, especially back in the old days, see how, you know, I guess the, the page is, it's not glued together or anything, it's just, never separated and there's writing on you know both sides which means that in all the eight in all the years that this business has been around this nobody's read probably nobody's read the inside of this or other, otherwise you, you would think they would have you know someone would have gotten would have cut this someone would have you know got a pair of scissors or a letter opener or something to, to, you know, I mean, I, I could, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to split it open either. But I mean, when I mean, this was new, I mean, someone, so I wonder what, what the history of this particular edition is. Was it just like, I don't know. I mean, this is, this was printed or printed in England, apparently. It made its way over here. I wonder how it made its way over here. And I wonder why someone got rid of it. 